What is happening YouTube? I hope you guys are well. Today we're hitting a threshold set. Nothing too crazy. I have to see a bit how I feel this week. I've been hitting some adversity this week, which is always fun. You know, you kind of expect a straight line and if you had a straight line for a little bit, you kind of get used to it. So if I seem a little bit more grumpy this week on this video, that's because of that. Because uh, yeah, adversity is never fun when you're in it, but if you expect a straight line in a journey that you're on, let's say in a challenging chapter or for all of us in life basically, uh, that's just not reality. So it's never a straight line, but we gotta deal with the punches, get back up and keep going. But I have something exciting to share with you today, so let's get into that now. So as some of you guys knew, I have a background a bit in the business world, I learned a little bit on that side. So uh, one promise I can make to you guys, so any brand I will be partner with in the future, it's not gonna be for paycheck. You know, if I wanted to choose a journey and go after a paycheck, I wouldn't have chosen triathlon. So everything I do, you know, I have a limited time in the sport, going later into the sport. I have, let's say, eight years of going all in. And either way, that's also my, my characteristics. I don't want to work with any brand that doesn't do the best possible performance. Like I said, never a paycheck. I literally couldn't care. But there is one brand I really want to make a shout out to because, you know, I basically have zero in my CV right now. You have to think about a CV. As an athlete, and mine is literally empty. So you're basically applying for a job or working with a company with an empty CV, with nothing on it, no results. And results is basically, you can say a bit of YouTube and Instagram, but you know, that's nothing relevant in that sense per se. But it's, the main thing is, what are your results? What are your splits? And to have a company like I wanna share with you now, just give me a little bit of a boost is something that means a lot to me because it shows a lot about the characteristics of the brand that it goes above the money-making part, right? One part is always gonna be, okay, you do marketing and it's kind of a working relationship, that's just how the world works and understand that. But another one is really to show characteristic and to help someone when it was basically at that point when I could say, hey, I can't basically afford a tri suit this year because I have to look at some things, maybe I have to use an old one. So a big shout out to Fusion for sending me the suit and also the calf sleeves. I've been looking for basically the fastest possible suit out there because the suit aerodynamic wise on the bike makes a massive difference as you guys know. Why I wanted this suit is first of all aerodynamics. So it's like a massive part of aerodynamics is how the airflow hits the body which the rider is obviously the biggest part of aerodynamic. So how that gets repelled the air basically and flows along the rider is key. So the arm sleeves are a major part of that because when you're in the aero position like this in the front the arms are gonna be hit with the air. So that has to be a different material and Fusion thought about that and you can see that it's definitely really optimized for that. The pants are kind of specialized. First the water repellent, but then obviously more important than that to have some compression in them. So that's really key for optimal blood flow and also, you know, delaying muscle fatigue. Another one is uh, the upper back. It's also a nice little gimmick, has UV sun protection that really helps when you're like in hot races where I had it before that the whole back was burned after the race. And then another key part is then the inside pockets. Sometimes you don't know where the jails are. A fun fact, actually one of my second Ironmans in Copenhagen back then, I had the Fusion suit back then. Back then, it was 2015, they had the pockets at the side, on the thighs basically. But now they did a smart move, I think they had it from Patrick Lange from his Kona win back then. Uh, pockets on the inside where you can store nutrition, it doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't rub, it doesn't cut into your skin, which is really key. So in pro racing, basically competitive sports, you have to put, if you swim with wetsuit or without, I believe you have to put if you have a long sleeve suit, which is the best for aerodynamics and can save a lot of time on the bike, you have to swim with the sleeves up. And in order to do that, you need to have a suit that works with that. I tested it already, I tested all of this, otherwise I wouldn't be in this video. Like I said, I wouldn't be working with this brand. I tested other brands as well, I'm not working with them. I want to be working in the future with the ones that work for me and that are optimal performance. So I tested it in a wetsuit, was no issues with the shoulders. It's really good. When I ran out as well, I had that issue before that sometimes you know, the front flaps when it's, when it's wet. And then when you get on the bike, imagine it's like this flapping. Yeah, that's probably the first 10, 15 minutes. You're like a sail and super slow. So fit really well, really nicely. Look forward to racing in that suit. And thanks again for Fusion for sending over the suit and the calf sleeves for this season. So first time doing the run outside now, which is really cool. It's no ice, I can go on a track. Let's hope we can go there. If not on a track possible, because there's a football club or something. Yeah, we're gonna go on a path somewhere, somewhere else, just out and back, uh, one case. A bit of warm up before, I always use my hips, as you know, like especially internal, external rotation. Loosen them up a bit, but I did that earlier, so that's not too bad. 
feet are important, but most important is glutes. So always do a bit of that. Actually, my new one is standing. So the one is kind of like for the back parts. I just do a bit of a deadlift with tension on this. This for the back and I really get the glutes going. Another one super simple is just the sidewalk. There it's pretty important that you lead with your knee. A lot of people do this and then you don't activate your glutes. So your knee needs to be at all times over your ankle. So if you do this, when you look down from the top, you need to lead with the knee, not with the foot. Most people do this and then you don't have your glutes and hips. What you want is the side, so do a bit like this. Always knee over the foot. Really excited to try my new shoes. I'm so happy I got them. There's like a few performance things. I mean, some things are shared. I did the Aero bike fit with Matt Bottrell. That was a big one. I did some parts on my own, like with 3D printing and some other Aero things on the bike. That I did. One more thing is still coming. I'm gonna show you that next, next video or something. Uh, that's a new one. Then the tri suit is a big performance one together with the calf sleeves. Calf sleeves is like I saw studies about those calf sleeves, they beat the other brands 6 to 8 watts, what I saw in an independent tester. So again, the reason why I chose those. Shoes, um, happy to test those now. Alpha 53, super happy I got them, as I said. So first run on them, I had the Vaporfly 3s. I ran in Nike for a long time, so my heel and Achilles and all that knows the drop rate. It's like 8 to 9 millimeter drop, which Works for me and works for most people because it uh, really deloads kind of the calves a bit and Achilles, that's important. And I also got these new, for all the fins out there, it's from Prisma actually. Sometimes it's a bit tricky how to get uh, those quick uh, things going. This is actually from Prisma one and I thought I'll give it a shot because it's a little bit harder. Some of them, you know, they are, it's still elastic but some of them, you know, they're too soft and I felt like they didn't stabilize enough. And this one, you know, just get in. Uh, to be honest, I'm really happy with those. So let's see how they perform. But I have a good feeling because they still make it tight. And all I gotta do is, you know, pull this up, zip, done. So it's really quick because you gotta be quick in transition. Why do you train so hard if you waste a minute or two in transition? Even for Ironman, that's something I never understood uh, for everybody out there. Why do you swim and train so hard? If you then sit and transition for five minutes, makes absolutely zero sense. So, same speed as a sprint distance for me, unless you make mistakes. But um, yeah, let's get going. The first steps in Alpha Flies, the first run. Really curious for that one, how they feel, stability wise, bounce wise. So, a little warm up, 20 minutes now. And then on the track, we get into again by feel. 4 to 8 times 1k threshold, nothing crazy but a little bit of stimulus, uh, so yeah, let's go. That's ridiculous, that's ridiculous, what the hell is this? <laughs> oh my god, if you don't have those shoes, good luck. Feels the exact same as the, you know, at the Invincible. They turned out to be actually good. I said they were bad, but they just need some warming up first. And then they soften up. So it feels for me super natural. That's ridiculous. I mean, just curious for the intervals. I ran the Vaporfly 3 for a long time, and I ran it down a bit. They changed something with the AirPods. That is not just the carbon plate that gives the bounce. That makes it last longer. I saw some reviews, independent, not from Nike. And they uh, said some guy ran 300 miles on it and it's still bouncy. So the old Nikes, uh, Alpha Flies, they kind of broke at me after 150, 200 K, they just lost this bounce. So uh, yeah. So our track is still a bit frozen as you can see, the corner is still icy. They removed the ice but it's still, yeah. Normally I went to the indoor track as you guys know, but uh, yeah. We gotta find another part, you know it's just 500 meter out and back, nothing crazy. But I want to do it outdoors a bit, not again to the indoor track because I've been there now for four months doing all my training indoors, including running most of it, cycling and swimming, so 
I'm drawn to the outside. Soon is Cali time, California. Sunshine every day. So yeah, let's go. Do you want asphalt or the? Okay. And we found a stretch here. It's one kilometer. It's still, you know, gravel. It's a bit softer. But there's no ice as it looks. And uh, yeah, just threshold, nothing crazy. First impression is around. 15 second a quake quicker, 10, 15, and heart rate at least five beats lower. So, <laughs> really ridiculous. This is one of our local harbors. Really nice. And frozen still. But with a run like this, I also don't want to have any music when you're getting closer to the race because you want to be the moment, you want to be visualizing the race you want to manifest good things, you want to manifest running strong in the ocean side, off the bike in these amazing shoes and same for Texas only positive things no matter how you feel, if you're good, if you're glad your brain is leading your body, so no matter what's going on in your life, you always got to steer your brain as much as you can. There will be low points. I had low points this week. Frustration, anger, you got to face it and then get over it and then you're... Keep on going. <laughs> with, with strides, it gets even easier. The faster you go, I mean that's what they say, but the faster you go, the easier it feels pretty freaky that's why right. performance first shoes suit bike aerodynamics non-negotiable everything I choose non-negotiable you think I sacrificed everything that I did to take bad equipment 100% not We're getting to the first K-Rap now. I have the distance on my watch. I mean, it doesn't matter so much per se, but at this point it's also with confidence building, right? A few weeks before the race, that you feel good. And uh, yeah, so 1K, threshold feel. Pace, you know, is not super relevant anymore because those shoes gonna make me super much quicker. So just to control threshold feel, nothing insane. And uh, see how I feel in the last reps. But uh, I, feel, I think I feel good, I feel fresh. Alrighty, ready to go. First rep, important to keep the control there, rather build into those workouts. Yeah. Some curves left and right. Ninety seconds rest. 
the ground. So. Better that one, 319. Some turf, cold air. You can feel, and there's some allergy. All the flying, but allergy is good. So it's the cold air, but my uh, legs really good, easy. <laughs> 30 seconds to go, and then we go for number three. Sorry, the camera battery died, so from now on, it's iPhone. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Control threshold session. Nothing insane. Oh, Feeling good. Oh, hey. my God. <laughs> All right. That was useful. <laughs> yeah. Okay, five. Natural was again 320 and some curves and stuff again. Time doesn't matter so much. The feel is really good. Breathing, working nice. What you want with threshold and uh, yeah, shoes feel natural. So a bit warm. 15 seconds. Fourth one. I'm gonna do one more and then I'm gonna cap it here. Not catch really, it's just supposed to be a little bit of a building session. Not anything to go deep or push hard per se, so. Alright, last rep, 15 seconds to go. And give me a year say 12 months of training like this maybe less I'm gonna be doing those at 3-0 pace so 30 minutes 10k pace for the same effort promise
Pretty plenty again. Uh, it's good, but that's it for this session. I got another, and I'll just easy running for the race. And then we got another swim, 4.4K, some aerobic strength, and a 90 minute aerobic ride later. Nothing insane, and tomorrow is a quality day. One of the few last ones. And uh, yeah, step by step. Almost made it to the end of the session. Five minutes left. So as I said, a few sessions left for me. If you enjoyed this kind of content, feel free to subscribe, follow along the journey. Lots more training focus content coming for my first pro season at with the Ironman Pro Series. That's a big focus. Should be exciting coverage to follow as well. And uh, exciting to see what my training will result in in racing. So, that's so fun, enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next video.